Hi, this is Billy Joe. Thank you so much for clicking on my video. So I have a pick a card here with three choices. We're going to look into why your person is not communicating. So maybe they haven't, maybe all of a sudden they just stopped texting you back or emailing or talking to you on the phone or going out. But it's like, it's maybe a sense of you're like, oh God, did they ghost me? <laughs> but maybe it's just that um, y'all just haven't been able to communicate or whatever is going on. We're going to stop and take a look at this. I have three options for you. Option one is with the soda light. Option two is with the amber. And option three is with the jade. So, if you need more time, you can always pause the video, use a pendulum, whatever you have to do to make your choice. I always tend to go with the one that I'm drawn to first with my attention set and everything. Um, do know that these are general readings. I remind y'all every time. Only take what resonates and throw out the rest. Don't force it to fit. Um, also, if you need your own personal reading, you can always reach out to me at my email, moongoddess114433 at gmail.com. All information along with timestamps is down in the description box. So let's get started. Okay, those of you that chose option one with the soda light, let's look and see why your person has stopped communicating with you. So why aren't they talking? What happened to them? We have the Wheel of Fortune, the Queen of Pentacles, the Ace of Wands, number five for Teach, Number six, believe and succeed. Number one, love abounds. We have jack-o'-lantern for protection. Let's see. Let's put that over here. Okay. So... With this, I'm getting a real strong sense of... Um, aiming for their future you know they're they're protecting their future they're trying to um focus on um success so we have a wheel of fortune here you know that let me, lets me know that um sometimes it just means luck is changing but it seems like situations are changing that they've got some op opportunities that opened up for them and um, this may be going back to school, like college, where you have the teach here. It does seem like, you know, she's teaching a classroom. You know, they had the dog there for loyalty, but it just seems to me like it's meaning a focus. It's standing for focus. Um, we do have the Queen of Pentacles here, which has to do with prosperity and abundance. Um, she can also be a motherly figure, you know, this person may have a motherly figure in their life that is prompting them to go towards, you know, a higher education or going towards their goal or trying to make a choice with these opportunities that's open up to them. We have Ace of Wands. So the opportunities that they're having is things that's really inspiring them. You know, we have the musical instrument instrument there, you know, the little um, symbols, you know, I'm talking about. I'm not a musically inclined person, so I'll just take it like that. But it, I am being pointed to that because they may be a musician and maybe they had opportunities open up to them. We have different signs of the arts. They may be some form of artist. Um, we have a book here which has to do with studies. So they're beginning a course of study. We do have teaching. Again, I, will, I keep going back to that. And we have believe and succeed and love abounds. These are telling me that they are really focused. They're going after something they're passionate about. Something that they want to, you know, they don't want any interactions when it comes to 
you know, the romance department. They're trying to protect their heart and protect their future and their success by staying focused on their studies, on staying focused on these opportunities. So that way they can be abundant and um, have be prosperous. And so they can succeed. You know, if they're going to, they went back to college, so to speak. If they went back to college or maybe they went to culinary art school or somewhere like that or an actual art institute, um, they have to be focused on what they're studying you know they they have a routine they have to follow and that's what i'm really sensing with this it's not anything that you've done and it's not that they don't have feelings for you because we do have love abounds here it we do have that so it's it's not that they don't have feelings i'm not gonna say they actually love love you some of y'all yes it is a loving relationship it's a loving connection and they would like to protect it and keep it so but first before anything else can move forward with y'all they have to stay focused on these opportunities that's opening up for them okay so i hope that resonated i know it was short it's quick <laughs> but um it's really a positive message for uh, you know future if you're focused for your future hey but um so i hope this resonates if it did please like share comment subscribe i'm going to get moved on to those that picked pile two okay those of you that picked option two with this amber let's see why your person is not communicating with you so we have the number eight for strength The King of Wands, the Three of Wands, number nine, Rest and Reconsider, number 21, Embrace, the number one, Base Chakra, and we have Invisibility authenticity that's an interesting card to get so <laughs> i get a sense with this card the invisibility card uh that movie the invisible man you know where this may hit home for some of y'all you may not be communicating with them but i i think they're watching you maybe they're your social media or um, if you have a YouTube channel or Facebook or Instagram or tweet or tweet, uh, Twitter, that's what I'm trying to say. They're staying um, in the background looking at your stuff. So they are kind of, it's kind of a spying little energy with that card to me. You don't see them, but they see you. Um, so with the strength card, you know, it's like, okay, first of all, there's a lot of wands energy. So there's, this may be someone who is, has fire in their chart, possibly even Leo itself. Um, Leo, Sagittarius, Aries, somewhere in their chart. They don't have to, but this is a fired up energy. You know, it's like they stay strong, even, even during storms, you know, they're, they're resilient. They keep going. They're focused. Um, this person, um, yes, I do sense they have taken a break from you. They are taking a rest. Um, but it's not, again, um, this is kind of similar to the same energy as pile number one, but just still a tad little bit different. In pile number one, you know, they were staying focused on maybe some studies. This one is like they're, they're focused on on making plans for their future because we have the king of wands here the king of wands is a self-made king you know and he is the king not only is he self-made but he's also very generous to other people um then we have the three of wands here which is kind of waiting you know you've put your work in and you're waiting you know you, you know and in this card it just reminds me of someone who's creating something She's got her wand and she's working her magic. 
So this person is, is really strong and focused and they're not letting any storms, any um, disappointments, anything um, settle them down. They're not letting that deter them or stop them on the plans that they're, you know, look at him with that map. He's making plans. Yes, he may have rested, taken a break from this connection, but it's only because, you know, he's embracing the world of opportunity and he's making a foundation. He is trying to build a strong foundation, but he's still got you in his eyesight because he is watching you. So I hope that resonated. If it did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. Remember, if you need a personal reading, you can reach out to me at moongoddess114433 at gmail.com. Thanks so much for watching. I'm going to get moved to those that picked pile three. Okay, those of you that picked pile three with the jade. Let's see why your person hasn't been communicating with you, okay? We have the Queen of Cups. The Page of Cups. The Page of Wands. So they're learning something. Something new started. Take the lead with number three. Number eight, Helpless and Hopeless. Number four, joy and stability. And night song, hidden talents. So, this person hasn't communicated with you because they're keeping stuff hid from you. They are, there is something, they're just not expressing to you. They're not, they're not comfortable expressing to you at this time. Um, this person is possibly you know with the queen of cups she represents someone who may have a high intuition possibly even psychic and this person um it's like the heart chakra has opened up and all this love is flowing right you see all these emotions and then you have the fish and everything it's like to me it just represents someone who's whose psychic abilities clairvoyant abilities intuition has opened up um, with this comes, you know, with the Page of Cups comes exciting new gifts, talents, this creative energy, this new flow. With the Page of Wands, it lets me know they are excited on embracing this journey. They're willing to walk away from things that don't serve them. They do tend to look back, you know, because they do, you know, they still there's still a little bit as a page. There's still a little bit of fear there. Maybe they're going to make the wrong choice. You know, we do have helpless and hopeless here. But I don't see that as a hopeless situation. I'm looking with this reading that, you know, because it's in between take the lead and joy and stability. It's in between these two bright cards. And then look what he's looking at. He's focused on this sunrise. He's focused on that bright sun rising between the mountains where he may have been stuck there thinking, what am I supposed to do? I think I'm going crazy. I'm not really sure what's going on till. And then now all of a sudden he's no longer focused on trying to look back and forth between the two stairs or the two mountaintops. Instead, he's focused forward at that sunshine. You know, he's trying to take the lead in this and he's feeling so much joy and stability. And what I'm sensing is it has nothing. And well, I take that back. It might. Spirit's telling me it might have something to do with you. <laughs> um, you may be some kind of soul connection. And if that's the case, you may have triggered his awakening. This person is going through enlightenment, awakening. And they're embracing these new gifts and they're excited about it. But at the same time, they're kind of scared, you know, because you know, when you go through this, you're like, you kind of go through that phase where you're like, oh my God, if I share this stuff I'm seeing or I'm experiencing with other people, they're going to think I'm crazy. Oh my God, they're going to lock me up in the loony bin. Okay. So they're kind of facing that. So they're really not, you know, think about the nighting, the night song. See, it has high intuition, it has hidden gifts. It sings at nighttime at 
night. It's keeping it hidden. It's keeping it in the shadows. It's not wanting to express that. So that's the only reason why they're not communicating right now. Um, I really strongly feel that when they start getting their um, equilibrium, equilibrium with this awakening, they're not going to be able to hold it in any longer because we have joints to build. It's just a bursting with all that light and that you know it's like a light body right and they're not gonna be able to hold it in they're gonna have to share it with you and in sharing you know there's gonna have to have communication you know this offering of something this offering is gonna come so do have hope that they are gonna take over you know take the lead in their um, new spiritual journey and they will contact you again so I hope this resonated. If it did, please like, share, comment, subscribe. If you need a personal reading, you can reach out to me at moongoddess114433 at gmail.com. And take care. I'll talk to you later.